I was just having some memory card issues, so hopefully this works, but hi. Welcome to another video. It's mid-January, but we're going to be doing my February TBR, but bookopoly deal style, so... Welcome. I... Obviously, it's halfway through the month. I haven't finished every book on my January TBR, but it's going well. I'm on track. And we had a deal breaker carried over from last month. Obviously, if you are for new to the Gobbly Deal, check out the playlist. It's on my channel. You'll be able to see all the other ones, kind of see the rules. Basically, we're drawing out cards to choose prompts until we collect one property set, like a Monopoly property set. Property set. I had a deal breaker last month, which I don't think I'll need to use considering how on track I am to complete everything. I'm treating it like you get out of jail free card and I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna be able to use it um this month if there's something I don't want to fulfill prompt wise. But uh let's get started. Hopefully my memory card doesn't crack the shits again. <laughs> Alright, our first card is an action card. It's your birthday, which I will put down here. But that basically means I need to do a reread, which I know exactly what I'm going to read. I'm going to read The Light Fantastic by Terry Pratchett. In January, I read uh, The Colour of Magic, along with um, April from Aprilius Maximus, my bestie, and Paige and Jacqueline. Um, we're doing like a Discworld read-along, but like not all in the same order. So April and I read Colour of Magic, and we're going to follow up with The Light Fantastic in February. So... This is my reread. I have read these before, the first like 20 in the series. Um, still working on it because it's a long series, but I have read this one before, so it's a reread. All right, let's pull out. That was a huge piece of blue tack. <laughs> Our second card is Rent, which is cash this early in the game because we don't have anything to apply it to. Um, I'm going to restart the camera a few times, I think, because of the memory card I'm worried about. All right, our next one is good old cash. There we go. So I'm keeping a little cash tally here. I might stick it there. We'll, we'll build that up as we go. So we're trying to get a full property set. Pass go. You can see that here. This means we have to draw an extra one at the end. I'll chuck it up the top. I'm still getting used to this layout, so I've figured out how to raise the camera, which is our first step from last time. But if you have any other advice for how to make this setup cool, let me know. I am sweaty, so that doesn't help, but our next one is also a Pasco. So well, that's great. I will also say, I'm making an attempt to read like 75% romance books in February, so. Um, that's another reason I wanted to carry the deal breaker over as a get out of jail free card. He's not... Would you believe that is another pass go? I did shuffle these. You watched me shuffle, so... Don't know what's going on here. Alright. Cash. So, that can go there. More cash. More cash. Also, please ignore this giant pimple situation on my face. Ignore. Ignore. Um, here's our next card. We literally don't have a single property yet. That is more cash. Love that for us. Um, our first property. Hey! It is Bond Street. Green's a middle grade, which is not what we want. Bond Street is a magical middle grade, though, so... I think I have an idea. Hang on. When does that book come out? Do I want to do that or do I want to pick? You know, I'm going to pick something. I'll be back. All right, for this prompt, I'm going to read The Stolen Prince of Cloudburst by Jacqueline Moriarty, which is the third book in the Bronte Middlestone. It's what's the series called? Kingdoms and Empires. They're like a collection of um, what are they called? They're not sequels, they're like companion novels. The fourth one also just came out, so that's another reason I want to get to this sooner rather than later. So, a middle grade magical, here we go. I didn't want middle grades, but, you know, you get what the, what the 
but Copley Deal decides. He's our next total wild card. So I'm gonna read a romance for this. This one I'm gonna read one of the few romances I actually have a copy of, and that's The Charm Offensive by Alison Cochran. Cochran? This is a uh, male male romance um, on the set of a dating show. I'm excited! Alright, next one. Or we have Mayfair. Mayfair is a tedia veteran, which is not what I wanted of a dark blue. I would have preferred a Kindle release. Let me go pick something from that area. <laughs> For this, I'm going to pick Fox Love Summer by Ben Aranovich. This is the fifth. Um, PC Grant book, my audiobook for this, I already had on loan and it should be coming in 10th of February. So I feel like this is a good pick. I will be listening to it on audio. It's a fantasy um, set in an alternate London and our main character is a magician and a detective. <laughs> oh, that does mean, however, with a wild card and a blue, we have a full set. So now we just have to deal with our three pass goes. I told you yesterday's like really, the well, last month's really long one was like abnormal. This, this is more on par, but we have to draw three more cards for our three pass goes. So here's the first one. Um, that is Vine Street. Vine Street is a YA high fantasy. A romance, I will say is not a YA, a YA high fantasy. But you know what is? The Bronze Beasts by Roshni Jagshi. This is the third and final book in the, my friend's going off, in the Gilded Wolf series. Um, and I'm so excited to read it. I have it here. I need to read it. So that's what's going in for this prop. This is a historical magical heist series. It's so good. Okay, here's our second of three um, Pascos. Oh, some cash. That's not too, that's not too bad. We are collecting quite a bit of cash, but it's, it's not the end of the world. And our final one is more cash. What you will notice here is we have a lot of cash and not that many prompts. And you have to be one for one in my little game between cash and prompts. So we currently have four, five prompts and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cash, which means I need to read two bonus books to complete the like tbr you feel you feel i'll show you one of them which is a romance that i'm going to be reading that i have a physical copy of and then i have a lot of romance on my list that i want to read and one of them will form the other one but i won't tell you which because i don't know yet <laughs> there's a lot of options but the one i know i'm going to be reading which i have a physical copy of is a lesson in thorns by sierra simone Everyone has mixed feelings about the series, but I've had this before. Book 2 came out, which is the one that threw everyone for a loop. Um, everyone loved this first book. And yeah, I own it. So I need to read it. This has like messy polycule vibes, apparently. And it's a fantasy romance, or at least like a dark academia fantasy romance. I'm not 100% sure. Apparently it's messy. But I'm excited for it. So this is also going to be on my TBR as one of these money catch-ups. Hopefully this all made sense. I feel like it went really fast, so I don't know what's going on. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon with another video. Thanks. <laughs> if you've read any of these and, and you want to tell me like your two second thoughts about them, because obviously no spoilers do so down below. I'd be excited to hear it and thank you so much for watching. Bye!